you. It is now time to ask the expert. Today we're talking about blended or modern families. Life coach and therapist Juliana Lydon in the house for us. We have a couple of viewer questions we want to get to this afternoon. First up, Michael in Scottsdale. How do you help build relationships between your kids and your new wife if your kids are older? I say do some of your favorite things that you can ever imagine. Okay. <laughs> do them together. So, you know, go do putt-putt golf. Go, but you want to do interactive things. You know, go to the park. You know, we love to do, what is that? We play croquet together and everything. <laughs> what is, which is, what is that? What is that called? Whatever you know? your kids want. Croquet. <laughs> you could go golfing, you know, something that is very interactive. Make it happen. Certainly. And the options we know are endless, especially when you talk about putt-putt. Gosh, we got like putt shack, pop right. stroke, putting world. I mean, that's just three in the general area exactly. and not to mention top golf. Right. Okay, so just take an interest in something maybe they'd like to do. Okay, mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. Keep it simple, right? So that's between your wife and your older kids. Now, Brandy up in Anthem, what bonding activities should you do as a new family first? So we obviously have been touching on this, but which ones are maybe better first? So, you know, I think it's good when you can have like big dinners. Okay. Bring everybody in and you can, have you played some of those um, games that have the cards and you can ask oh, questions? Yeah. There are so many Get good Know like you that. kind of right. opportunities you know you and make sure everybody gets the opportunity to do it so you're really getting engaged and learning about each person there I think anytime you can get people around the table to have a meal or you put a cheese board out we say that's the best yes. way to kind of socialize and get the awkward small talk in without it being kind of one-on-one -on -one. I love that I love that that's cheese kind of, boards are my favorite oh my I gosh have right? a huge one yeah, yeah. oh the yeah. espresso okay we can keep going <laughs> Sherry and Chandler how best should you maintain a healthy connection with your own kids while trying to support stepchildren. This can be tricky because imagine. often they can feel that they're not, you know, in the mix properly and it's very, very hard. So that's where you come together with your partner okay. and you work on that. Because remember I said earlier, you're the nucleus of the group. Sure. So you want to make sure if someone is coming, if the child's coming to the biological parent or the other way around, mm -hmm. bring it up to each other and say, hey, look, she felt slighted here. And let's find a way to make her feel more included. And continue having probably open conversations with everybody involved. Because right. it's, it's a very big adjustment. It's a very big adjustment. And I tell parents it takes time. It takes time to build these relationships it doesn't happen overnight and I know you were saying you know maybe go to a basketball game or a baseball game or something but it's not going to take just one activity <laughs> I would right. imagine that's right <laughs> and so you've got to keep at it you know go into their room sit on their bed talk about their day ask them who they're dating yes, they right. love that they do <laughs> and why do you like the person you know I mean really care listening is a lost art uh, I, and yes. and people have trouble really usually we just you know hear what they're saying sure. but we're not paying attention and you know I know I'm sure technology is it creating a bigger divide too you know kids do want to be on their phones so how do you kind of get them away oh, from from that do. too and I say have have some rules like hey guys at dinner we're not gonna have we're not gonna do the yeah, phone talk. just we're not gonna do it there's certain times or you know when they're smaller you can have things you know now just go play outside do sure. something else but we're not turning them on at night I love it simple yeah. stuff keep the conversation open Juliana thank you so much sure. for being here all right